Get off my lawn! The old Cranky Man Collectibles YouTube channel. Before we introduce today's players, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click the notification button so that we get to annoy you every time we upload a video. My name is Blake, and I'm here with Stefan. Hi, hello, how you doing? Watch some Canadian Highlander. Woo! It's a good day. It's a good day for Highlander. At the top of your screen is Luke. He's playing Seeker Walk. At the bottom of your screen is Blake. That's me. I'm well, playing I have five a color Rex, sir. I've got an idea what's, of what's your idea? some of those points. Uh, Luke, obviously, on seek, Seeker of the Way and Walk Home Empty Handed. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, so we've got the top is, uh, is, uh, Seeker and Time Bell Walk. Seeker, Time Walk. And then the bottom I is. I played a breeding pool and a preordain. A my very points, fancy wreck. My, my points are survival of the fittest, natural order, um, birthing pod, and demonic tutor. Yeah, that's a, that's a solid 10 right there, bud. So a Badlands. And Pretty good, though. Into a shiny card that we can't see. Uh, I don't remember. This is you. This oh, is you. Library. Oh, it's a Sylvan Library. Okay. Yes, I played Are... a Sylvan Library. Okay. Can't believe you've done this you, to Look, us. I put my hand down, and now I'm going to look at the top three. You're drawing those cards, notably. But, you but just have can't to touch my separate. hand because I have to make decisions. They All right, so fun fact about Sylvan Library. If you're in a tournament setting... You can cast Brainstorm on your upkeep before your uh, before your S Sylvan Library trigger, and you have to have a judge come and watch you so that he knows the cards that you have drawn for the turn, and you can put some of those back. Yeah, that to me again. So I can, are you telling me I can look at six cards? Yeah, so, um, so the way that this works is if you're playing in a tournament, and this is actually the correct way to do it, if you have a brainstorm in hand and you want to see just a ton of cards, you can brainstorm at the beginning of your turn, put cards back on top from that brainstorm. The cards that you have drawn off those brainstorm, that brainstorm are eligible to go back on top of your library as part of resolving Sylvan Library's trigger. But only the cards that you drew off of that brainstorm. Ew. <laughs> but you That's have to yucky. so in that case you have to have a judge watch you because there's no way for your opponent to to identify those cards so i did take an extra card off of the sylvan library then i put a wolf willow haven on my breeding pool and tapped it and cast a ponder i believe i have a green mana floating right now smart what are you gonna cast with that green mana i don't think i cast anything I think you just, just let it go away i believe i just mana burn ouch ouch my burn should get a cream for that. He's got one of the most annoying uh, mana dorks in the world. Every time I look at it, I'm just like, I want to, I want to shock you so bad. It's Druid. Oh my god. It's not making any mana. It's just there, being hexproof. It it makes mana, and then you can kill it. But like you, there's such a small window that you're like, you feel priced into doing it. And then he's also got a noble next to it. So he's got a, <laughs> he's got a decent amount of, of mana there. Yeah, and the patience he has to not to play a noble hierarch and not just attack for free. I mean it's like he's it's like he's holding up three mana to do something terrible to me. Mm-hmm. He just doesn't want yeah. his thing to lose hexproof. Yeah, that's also a reasonable thing, is like I don't wanna like if I he, didn't have three mana to do something, I don't know if I could resist not attacking for three right here. Well, Seeker is a deck that functions sort of like a haymaker punch, right? Where it doesn't need to get you the for those incremental... Uh, unless he's playing against, like, hard control, you're not attacking with your mana dorks. It's also one of the reasons that mana dorks are sort of not as good right now, because there's not as much hard control. I took another four damage. Boy. I, play, I, I, I played a Ooh. Dryad Arbor, and that's in natural order, sacking the oh. Dryad Arbor. It's an Avon Mind Sensor. So you only get the top five. <laughs> Remember when I said... 
yeah. three mana. What could he be doing? It was like moments before disaster. Oh, wild. Yeah, he played an Aven Mind Sensor, and I said, I hate you so much. <laughs> I I will say I have mind censored my share of natural orders in the not so distant past. Uh, so I looked the, at the top five, found nothing, and my life is over. You two for one yourself real hard. Now he can attack you for three every turn with his mind sensor. And I've already taken eight damage off of the silver library. Taken, yeah, you're done. I 10. chose this life. Yeah. This is this is the at its heart cowboy magic. We made him have it. <laughs> we made him have it, baby. How how good do you feel as Luke right there though? You're like, come on, come on, play into it. And <laughs> you just play into it. There was no way hands. I was not gonna play into it. Did you see what I Sylvan I the Sylvan Library, the top three? The the Dryad Arbor and the Natural Order were in the top three cards. <laughs> yeah. It's a free creature that you get to turn into a Traxa. A Traxa BB. Unfortunately, a Traxa not in the top five cards of your deck. I wasn't gonna not do it. How sweet would it have been if she had been, though? Yeah. I mean, I I resolved a I recently resolved a final room in the Undercity and got an Emrakul the Aeons torn with it. Oh, nice. There's a here's a Court of Calling. X is what three? three mana? Gonna get that uh, that spell seeker. Um, you know I've been playing quite a bit against Luke here, and, and oh, it's he's, white he's he's playing it pretty safe. You know he's not gonna play into open mana and just try to combo off. So, um, I do believe he goes and gets the white plume adventurer here. What's funny is part of my brain didn't acknowledge that you know the outcome of this match. <laughs> uh, it has been uh, almost a week now since I played this game. So. Okay. Not, Not right fresh. there in the forefront of my memory. So, you know where we're going? Uh, to the Undercity. We're going into the Undercity, BB. I will I will notice that you have no creatures and Luke has just just so many. Listen. <laughs> if that's why I, if we I play, didn't that's why we play the cards. I have a wolf willow haven that can make a wolf. That's true. It can, and then you'll make less mana. Which I don't know how choked you are at this point. You know that there's another no, you shuffled. You don't know the top of your deck, do you? I do not, but I still have the Sylvan Library. Yeah. Yeah, at this point, you're going to kind of... You just take four, hope for the best. Um, I, No, it, it's going to be incredibly hard for me to come back yeah. in this game and, and be able to win. I need to, I need to put together um, some string of something insane. Um, I don't have anything in my graveyard worth casting a reanimate on i don't have a whole lot of life to work with so yeah like if you if you could somehow make a bunch of mana get a nat get an eternal witness you went back your natural order even then it's like you don't, don't have, have a mana. Of the sacks yeah. the natural order it would need to be something like um you know a, a looting effect plus a uh, persist let's say mm -hmm. yeah. uh, luke's playing a voice of resurgence Reading Voice of Resurgence, even though you know what it does. It's been quite a while since I had <laughs> seen one, so... It's a 2-2, two -two, and if your opponent casts a spell on your turn, you make an elemental. Or if it dies, you make an elemental. Teferi before Teferi was cool. Yeah, I will note that that only says cast a spell, so activated abilities such as channel... Uh, Oh, you got the solitude. I did. I did. I he had the voice of resurgence on the stack, and I solitude did, 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 did the white plume adventurer. Yep, you got to do it. Totally reasonable. He can crack. Well, in I think at this point we're just trying to not die. Yeah, he can. He can get in for what six here. Um, Take let's see. One. If he swings, if he swings out. It'll be for seven, I think. Oh, it's right? it's exactly lethal. But he's not. Nope, he's playing it safe. 
I don't think that's the wrong move. He, well, he's not attacking into my four, four open mana, yeah. No. Put himself in a position where he just can't win. What was that? Recruiter? Uh, it's Recruiter of the Guard. Yeah. Another card that probably needs a reprint. Card is very good and hasn't hasn't seen a seen a reprint yet, right? Like it was just in. So, um, mystery booster. Again, doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't really count. So only only the one printing in conspiracy. Yeah, I will say that the recruiter of the guard on the art there on the flag there is a Phyrexian logo. <laughs> Oh, I never noticed that before. Yeah. Oh, well, I think it's it's also like the symbol of the monarchy of of Fiora, which is where Marchesa is from. And that is the that is a symbol of the royal guard led by the Boros captain. I can't remember her name. That's gonna do it for game one. <clears throat> In a shocking turn of events. Well, I just, I just after, after the Avon Mind Sensor blew me out and paying eight life trying to draw extra cards with uh, Sylvan Library, there was just no way I was going to be able to claw my way back into that one. I don't remember exactly what I had in my hand at the end of the game, but it was not the requisite um, number of cards or configuration of cards. Sort of unfortunate you didn't have the uh, you didn't have the solitude in hand for that mind sister when it came down. Like that would have been pretty ideal if you had held Absolutely. that. But I, I think I've heard on more than one situation where my opponent I've known they've had a solitude in hand, and they just didn't have another white card, and I was like, why didn't you you know why didn't you kill my creature? And they're like, oh well, I had a solitude in two lands. I'm like, oh. Now, <laughs> I at the last time that I sold in library there, I was digging for another land so that I would be able to hard cast the solitude. Oh, I see. I didn't. I didn't have the fifth land though, or the well, the fourth land. I guess one of my lands was making two mana. I didn't have the didn't have the fourth land, so I'd be able to cast the solitude. I had to pitch my white plume adventurer to make that happen, but I didn't get anything off the top of my library again. So unfortunate, and like him. Him creaming you with that third room. Five, five damage from that third room in. That takes you a ways down. Nuts, huh? Yeah. Almost like it's designed for a format where you start with 40 life. Like what would be... What what percentage of that is... So it's it's a quarter of, of the starting life for non-commander. And commander would be what? Like 12.5% starting life? Just over ten percent, then. So, the the equivalent, the requisite equivalent in our format would be like three damage if it bolted you, yep. or if it ever shocked you. Like if you got a shock off of that, that'd be like, oh well, yeah, that's that's interesting. I've never thought of it in that context before. Yeah, the, it's it definitely it definitely translates much more powerfully to our format to any to any 20 life format because of the percentage of life it represents it's also why creatures smaller creatures in commander aren't as good because you're not going to be able to chip in because ever because you're you're effectively up against you know 120 life versus 20 life well the fetch is here <clears throat> getting the game started what's that what's that card in the glare there uh, ponder. I'm pondering. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Got to shuffle. Always shuffle. Nope. Put him back. <laughs> Never shuffle. Always shuffle. I will say I'm very bad at playing cantrips. But when I, so for our viewers at listening i did not play blue until this year playing blue is part of my new year's resolution for 2023 and i i think that i've done a very good job like i've been playing jeskai and playing cantrips and counter spells are dipping your toes into the into the cool island water and look i got new new <laughs> kapina new kapina uh limited all-star jewel thief just hit the board on my side that card is uh, just a straight banger. 
there that's not even like a limited thing. That it is card a three is... three with vigilance and trample for three that also makes a treasure token. <sighs> What's not to like? It's a straight banger. And three meta is such a like in a format where in green you're playing a lot of dorks, you're playing this a lot on turn two, and then you're immediately getting a rebate with the with the treasure. And then this thing attacks and blocks for the first five, six turns of the game. It has trample. So, like, they can't chump it. You're going to be able to get the initiative back. Every time I've seen this card, I'm like, what? Why are you playing that? Unmarked Grave. Card very good. What are you going to get? The uh, the six black black Archon? Unmarked Grave. Uh, I most assuredly get Archon of Cruelty. Archon of Cruelty. I can't remember. I can, I can never remember what Archon it is. I just know that it is an Archon. It has creature type Archon. Are there other Archons? <laughs> oh, Archon There's of like Finality. There's like Blazing Archon. Absolutely. Remember There's when Blazing Archon. Archon was the hot reanimator target? There's an Eldraine card that makes non-Archon creatures three threes. E. So, Archon of Cruelty going to come into play. I'm going to gain three and draw a card. Luke's going to sack a creature, discard a card, and lose three life comes in with a minus one minus one counter it does notably. because it persists <laughs> only a five five <sighs> not even good <clears throat> yeah this card again it's like it's it does feel balanced for for 20 life because the three life is very is a modicum of a swing if it was five the thing wouldn't be okay oh going to sack, I think, the Wood Elves. Yep, he sacks the Wood Elves. That's the right choice. That card belongs in the graveyard. It's already done its work. Interesting inclusion, to be honest. I don't see a lot uh, of lists running Wood Elves anymore. I think it's totally reasonable if you're trying to hit a certain amount of mana very yeah, quickly. Yeah, it is pretty good in the, in the, in the Seeker Walk deck, yeah, because you need, like, if your opponent doesn't have any interaction, you need uh, seven mana. Yeah. Well, yeah. okay. If your opponent doesn't have any interaction, you only need five mana. And and we've talked about some of these decks are density based, where you really have to have the resources pretty quick. Otherwise, this going to pick up the wood elves. Yep. So yeah, it's another reason that it's good. Like wood elves pitches to endurance it. Um, finds you that mana. It's small, so you can tutor for it with Recruiter. Did he just pitch it again? Yep, he just uh, <laughs> used it to discard. He oh, discarded right. it to the Arkin. Yep. Sacked his Birds of Paradise. Interesting that he did that. He could have sacked the Timeless Witness and then recast it with eternal eyes if he had kept the birds he had seven mana well you're not wrong so i'm gonna open up with a thought sees here he's gonna discard a soul herder good lord you're just tearing this man apart <clears throat> i leave his presence on the mountain i'm gonna draw a card he's gonna untap draw so these are these are the cards that i think are pretty unique to your deck where you're not playing a lot of mana dorks you're playing cards you're playing a lot of land enchantments uh not a lot um i would i would say that the number you're playing is a pretty decent one, amount two three four the okay so the reason the reason that i'm playing those is because it's a greedy five color deck mm -hmm. but also in my deck they're better than mana dorks because i have Enigmatic, enigmatic incarnations, incarnations. <clears throat> really but, the whole point of this deck is to be able to draw as many cards as possible with atraxa i so the types the the card types are pretty evenly spread out i get that um i can't recite what all of them are off the top of my head i think there's 26 creatures uh 19 enchantments 12 sorceries nine instants uh there's only a couple of planeswalkers 
That's reasonable. 33 lands, but the, yeah, the whole point is to be able to draw like at least five or six, if not seven cards with Atraxa. Mm -hmm. I try to sp spread it out as much as possible, but then you also have the, all those really subtle synergy in there, right? Like, so yeah, um, I'm basically just trying to treat cheat and Atraxa into play. That's, that's game plan number mm -hmm. one. So like cards that like put cards into the graveyard and reanimate cards get it 10 times better. And then like cards like uh, Animate Dead, in in dance of the dead are enchantments that i can sack to enigmatic incarnation to do all this other stuff like it's just it's a whole bunch of really subtle synergy and the deck has a lot of cards that have been banned in formats before yeah. it <laughs> you're also you're running like fires of invention and it, it's sort of just like this weird amalgamation of of what so, can okay I do. okay i forgot about this so i'm on the draw here right mm -hmm. he uh, plays a Misty Rainforest, cracks, finds a land, plays a Mother of Runes, he passes. I draw a card and discard to hand size. <laughs> ah, that old gem. The as first, a, as this is actually the, I think the first time that I've ever done this ever. Oh, I'm familiar with this. I played uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> if the line was there, I believe I have the natural persist in my hand. So the yeah. line was there and I just took it. I would. That's, I've never actually done that before. It felt so awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, you get, a, like, if you open with a Golgari Grave Troll, you're going to draw pitch, draw weight pitch, and then, like, it's effectively drawing six cards, whereas you're getting your payload into your graveyard the easiest and fastest way possible. It literally cost you zero mana to put right. that exactly where you wanted it to be. Exactly, Yeah. <laughs> It costs you zero mana and zero cards to put the that arc on where you want it. And now Luke is like having a panic moment, I'm sure. Where he's like, you've telegraphed to him exactly how you plan this game to go. I know, right? He knows what's happening. You know what's happening. And and to point this out, Luke also does not have a lot of removal in this deck. It's basically Solitude Palace Jailer. Yep, yep. It's one of those decks. It's it's got he does have swords, um, so oh, a limited right, yeah, yeah. a limited number of ways to interact. Um, but having it at the at the most opportune time is is the tricky part. Yeah. So you he does also... have ways to break up things like Arcan of Cruelty, um, Endurance that could exile it out of my graveyard, things like that. But it's it's a matter of having it. Yeah, and then of course you play a. The the uh, abundant growth there draws you a card, makes any color mana now. Yep. And here I and believe you're going to see land persist. Could have been could have been reanimate. Would have been even sweeter. Oh, it is a dance of the dead. The dance actually. of the dead. So you got to pay mana to untap. Dance it. of the dead, my favorite, just because you, of the art. Did you did you tell him which creature to to sack? Uh, no, I don't think so. You, like, pointed to it. You were like, that one? I don't believe I told him which one. So he's asking me what Dance of the Dead does exactly. <laughs> Dance of the Dead is is, is my favorite reanimation spell just because of the art. It I gives have, a minus one, minus zero, right? I still have the Ice Age um, Deck Master box. With the art on it? That has the Dance of the Dead art it's on it. Thick. It's covered in tape because it's falling apart. And I've oh, had no. that thing literally since Ice Age. It boosts its power. It makes it a 7-7. Seven, seven. It does. It, it makes it a 7-7, seven, seven, but it does not untap. You have to pay two for I it to untap. I have to pay two to untap it, yep. And Which here's a phantasmal do. image copying my Arcan of Cruelty. And now I'm big sad. I like the idea of you of this happening and you just like looking at them going, is this what I do to people? I'm a monster. I deserve this. <laughs> Uh, that second this game, you mooshed him. This people? one's like, yeah. It's like a, it's that Simpsons moment where like he stabs that guy, stabs himself. And he's like, oh no, is this what I do? I belong in jail. Yep, so I discarded a Yorion. Woofa doofa. Can we come back from this? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, it's really, really hard to look at an Arkan. Yeah, it's hard to, it, it is hard to look at an Archon. And then he also has an Archon. I was referring to his, not mine. <laughs> yeah. He looked at it and said, hmm, yes, please. I'll take one to go. He paid two mana for his. Well, I believe that when I also paid two mana for mine. That's I true. Believe, 
I believe that he had the phantasmal image in his opening hand. Uh, and so when I discarded the Arkin of Cruelty to hand size, he just went, oh, I'm glad I snap kept this. <laughs> yeah. I will say, I, I don't see phantasmal image dying to its its static ability of like if it ever gets targeted by a spell or ability of to sack it. What? Could target it if I Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like creature based removal I also have is... like um, touch the spirit realm mm, very good I have quite a few ways that I could target that if I wanted to yeah the or problem if I is... have the card it's actually a matter yeah. of having the card the, the format is such that the singleton nature of things is finding the card that you need at the right time <laughs> Uh, what I really want him to do is to just target it with Mother of Runes and get rid of it for me. Ooh, yeah. That would be ideal. Solves all my problems. He won't. <laughs> Luke is a good magic player. It's not going to fall for his own tricks. But he could, just to be a nice guy. Just to give you a fighting chance. You're the one that started swinging the, with this mess in the first place. He just came back at you with it's it. It's all my fault. I did this to yeah. myself. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Flag tusk. And an all star. I'm sorry. I love this card so much. Are are we stable? Did we stabilize? It is so good here. <laughs> just gained five life. And I also get a creature rebated when I have to sack to the arc. Yeah. As previously stated, five life, a large chunk of your starting life. <laughs> Thrag Tusk, so good here. <laughs> oh my god. It's another thing that I really love about this deck. It's just a random pile of cards. Like, And I get to play really sweet stuff like Thrag Tusk. Are there better cards that I probably could be playing? Yes. Yeah, and but I, why? I don't care. <laughs> Reanimating a Thrag Tusk feels great. Absolutely. Like you play it, it dies. You reanimate it. You've got a ton of creatures now. You basically yeah. built an entire board. And like if you if you cast reanimate on this card, it pays for itself. Absolutely. You're gonna fail five life, and then you're gonna gain five life. And you're also playing Yorion, so being able to blink it is like. It's kind of what it's kind of what I was talking about earlier. Was this is like all of this subtle synergy that mostly yeah. centers around a Traxa, but. You just get to do dumb stuff. I I honestly love Thrag Test in this. I think it's totally reasonable to play this exact card because it's like it's hard castable and it's a good tutor. Like it's a it's a fantastic reanimation target. Yeah, that's everywhere you want to be. What and funny enough, like I don't know if you've played a lot recently with Ryan, but that man is on a tear with burn. With like oh, I did, and I played a Thrag Tusk against him, too. So I'm really sad that you can't see the token that I just put into play because this is my RK Post Artist Proof oh. Beast token. Yeah. And uh, it is a Thrag token. Tusk's face, uh, but you can't – drawn by RK Post, but you can't really see it, which makes me kind of sad. So We know it's a 3-3. Three, three. When, GPs, when GPs used to be a thing, I always used to go visit the artists, and most of them sell Artist Proofs, and they'll draw on the back of it for you. So I'd always have them doodle a token for me. Oh, yeah. And his RK post Thrag Tusk token is amazing. I'm trying to need to need to see about getting some some stuff from Tyler Walpole. Yeah. Artist Tyler Walpole uh, from the same town as us. <laughs> Grew up Local playing player. in the same store that we did. You see me pay three mana for a grist. The Hunger Tide. Gonna get countered by a miscalculation. Love that. You're already just, you're messing with you the dice. You see how sad I am? I have my no. dice ready. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna kill this Archon. I've got a 3-3. Three, three, and Secret I just walk. die. Yeah. <laughs> there goes game three. GG. G. G. Ugh. When they have it all. Wonderful, wonderful matches. <laughs> You lost gracefully to your own thing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the first time you've died to your own creature, though. I recently animate deaded your own uh, Titan of Industry. Yeah. 
So <laughs> it certainly it certainly won't be the last time. Uh, but I, you know, but I have no problem, you know, dying to my own creatures. At least yeah, oh, uh, yeah. you know. It's an occupational hazard. At least at least I built my deck well. <laughs> Everybody likes it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Alrighty. Beautiful. All right. Well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn notifications on so that we get to annoy you every time we upload a video. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey, yeah. Bye-bye.